internet. Here we are. Off and running for another day. Another start to another week. And just like that, the weekend was gone. And welcome to our vlog. So, here we go. Well, it's hard to believe the weekend is gone already. I guess that's kind of what happens when you rest uh, Saturday. I was feeling pretty rough Saturday and uh, kind of shut on down. Didn't do much of anything, just rested on up and, uh, well, fighting, of course, the uh, normal fall uh, flu bug and all that. I feel it uh, slightly in my chest, so I'm trying to rest and you know take a couple of things to make it break up so it doesn't uh, get worse uh, right now the temperature is warm it's it's uh, supposed to be like plus 15 plus 12 uh, for the next week here so you know then toward the end of the month it's gonna drop again and get cooler so um, when the temperature is dry and uh, warm it tends to be a little better but once it starts to get cold, that sharp cold, then the chest starts to get a bit sore. But it kind of is what it is. You gotta roll with the punches and deal with what you got, right? Uh, one thing I did manage to do on a Sunday was drill the hole that I needed to drill. Um, I had to go down and buy a larger drill bit to get the wire snaked back through. I have no idea what was blocking it to what the problem was but once I got the wire snaked through it's all good to go so I just got to make a couple of phone calls now to the appropriate people tell them to come hook up whatever they need to go hooked up and then it'll all be good the question I like to know is how they were able to read my water meter um, for the last year or so without a physical connection between the sender and the meter Obviously, they just estimated and guessed on, uh, well, the water meter itself and um, kind of put that on the bill. It's weird how um, that works out. You know, someone who's got a really good job that is getting paid, what, 25, 28 bucks an hour plus, uh, doesn't complete the job, doesn't do the job, and there was no note, no phone calls, no follow up letter nothing to say you know hey we need access to your place to run a new wire or we need you to be here or our service tech was back and you weren't here but everything was set up and all they had to do was hook it up on the outside of the house run a couple of screws in hook up a couple of wires and everything would have been fine months ago but it's like they never come back or never came back or if they did I don't know, whatever their problem was. So, hopefully they can get her right this time and uh, get everything going and rolling right. Was uh, Well, as for me, I'm off and running for another week at work. Hopefully uh, everything goes good. It's, uh, you know, one of those jobs that, um, well, it's uh, hopefully we'll pay the bills or some of the bills until something a little better comes along but uh, for right now it's interesting keeps a guy hopping keeps a guy going and you know something that keeps a guy moving and going is good all the way around right especially after having uh, some time off and uh, well kind of getting a little bit out of shape so of course off and running if I can make it back to do a check-in at lunchtime we'll see you then if not, we'll see you right back here after work. Well, good evening, Internet. Here we are. A little bit of an update. Well, I didn't make her across town uh, for lunch. Kind of just stayed at work. It uh, worked a whole lot better. Just kind of sat in the truck, listening to the radio, and uh, passed the lunch hour that way. It just works a whole lot better than uh, driving all the way across town 
because the way it works out you have about 15 minutes or so and then you gotta head back before you're late so it's just too much of a rush and then you know wait until it gets snow on the ground and it gets icy right the traffic will be slower and you know what if there's a train or what if there's an accident or heavier traffic it just makes it easier just to stay at work for your lunch hour and well all's well well the work day was busy uh, busy busy I'm not sure if they had a really really busy weekend around there or or what but there was a lot of stuff to catch up on a uh, big pile to work on through this morning so got all that worked on through got uh, everybody happy by the end of the day so that uh, well, really is all that matters of course made a couple of phone calls today to our wonderful city here and uh, got an appointment for them to properly hook up the uh, sender so they can read the water meter properly um, apparently um, according to their records it hasn't worked for close to two years but yet there's been uh, very little to no effort or contact made to say hey it's broke and um, they have installed a new sender however they installed the new uh, sender on a line that is um, cut or you know not connected to the water meter itself the person on the other end of the phone couldn't believe that they'd install the sender on a line that didn't give any reading when they tested but you know that's the way it goes right they get paid to install the meter they get paid to install the sender regardless whether it works or not and if they get called back from their service appointment then that's another um, bill that they can send out to well you know the appropriate people so made an appointment to get that properly hooked up and all that of course they can't do it um, you know this week or next week it has to be done um, you know the following week after that toward the end of the month um, and by then the weather will have changed it'll probably be a little bit on the cooler side but hey that's the way it goes right if they would have done their job properly the first time then uh, there would have been a brand new sender on the end of that line and then they wouldn't have to redo it now on a uh, the line that was there before they walked right past the line that was run out of the foundation didn't read the appropriate instructions and just blindly installed it where wherever they kind of felt like installing it so they'll come and fix it whenever the time works out for them and uh, well it'll all work out fine so gonna go in see what's the what maybe fire up the computer thinking I'm gonna have leftovers from supper because I had me a wonderful barbecue yesterday get on with the old evening and around re roll so yeah next time you see me it'll probably be dark good evening internet here we are, we come to the end of another day. Well, it was a good day, it was a busy day, it was a steady day, but of course a, a good day nonetheless. Well, went to work and got a full day of work in. A busy, busy day, getting caught up on all sorts of good things. Came on home, had me some supper, uh, did a little bit of a uh, crash for a few hours, and well, here I am now. Probably going to fire up the computer, watch a little bit of YouTube, and then shut her down from there. Remember, we do have our fan mail box for all your fan mail needs. The address is down below. As well as the social media links, they're down below as well. And as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's vlogs. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.